So, something got me wondering. Why does everybody use the connect on the humanoidite call when you should be using wands? Because the humanoid dies only one time, right? So I did some digging and turns out a lot of people don't even know about this method and that's why I'm here. So welcome, I'm Paul and I'm helping you become a better developer. So we have all these methods, right? There is connect, connect parallel, parallel, yeah, this one, wands and wait. All of them are used to connect a function to a call and they return a Roblox script connection which can be assigned to a variable to be disconnected later. And don't get it confused. Roblox script signal and Roblox script connection are something different. The connection is something that's returned by the signal method. But anyway, the connect method is what everybody uses and knows about. The once method is useful if you want something to happen well once after a signal is fired and it ensures that the connection is automatically disconnected after the call finishes. And the wait, well, it's used to yield until a signal is fired and returns arguments provided by the signal. And it's commonly used in local scripts to let's say get the player's character. And it usually happens happens like so. So we get the player service, then the local player, and now we need the character variable, which usually is just local player that character, but sometimes the script runs before the character gets loaded. Maybe unlike in this case, the script would be in the starter player scripts, and the script would run before the character gets loaded. So in this case, that would be nil. So to avoid it, we use the or statement, followed by local player that character added, followed by the wait method. So if we don't get the player character from here, we are waiting for the character added signal, which returns the character which was added and that's just one use case and now for the connect parallel this is used to basically run callbacks in a desynchronized state under the same actor and not that the scripts to be able to use connect parallel they have to be rooted under the same actor and well since this is a tutorial about script signals and not actor i might leave it for another video but anyways that's basically all there is to the roblox script signals but i'm going to bring this case right here with disconnected the script connection which i found from mr chicken rockets reposting this tweet but as provided in the example which i have right there if you try to disconnect this connection it's going to throw an error and this happens because of the event queuing and the script wouldn't have enough time to assign the connection variable and just to prove it i'm gonna run it right now it's giving an error that we are trying to use a disconnect method on nil so to avoid it with the ones and we don't need to assign the connection variable because it's going to be automatically disconnected it's printing that event was fired right here and if i move to the example number one and try to wait for like two seconds and then fire the event again the client isn't going going to receive it because well we just run it once and like i said it's useful to basically not have any connections that you have to disconnect later if you just want to run something once so as you can see we change this to basically this and yeah and just a quick tip for now if you want to be a better developer i recommend checking out my video about things i wish i knew sooner as a robot scripter since i talk about a lot of different practices that might impact your workflow and help you out but anyway that's everything for today and see ya guys